Hello, I'm Daniel and I'm a first year student at Leeds Beckett University and I'm studying business management with marketing. Today I'm going to be presenting a vlog exploring my buying behaviour and the influences on my buying behaviour. Using marketing theory which I've researched, I will explain the consumer decision making process and use it on products I buy myself. Marketing is defined as engaging customers and managing profitable customer relationships. Virtually all businesses attempt to market themselves in some way. As shown by Gosney and Richardson in 2010, there are several steps in the business to consumer decision making process. The first step is problem recognition. This is where the consumer realises there is a difference between their current state and their ideal state. This is then followed by the second step, an information search. This is where the consumer surveys their environment to look for useful data to help them make a reasonable decision. This is followed by an evaluation of alternatives. Here, the consumer identifies and compares alternatives against their selected criteria. Following this is a final product choice and the process concludes with an outcome evaluation. This is ultimately where the consumer considers their purchase and whether it has satisfied their needs and wants. A product I've recently bought is a Domino's pizza. For me, this is an example of limited problem solving. This is where it is a moderately deliberate decision process, i.e. one that carries moderate cost. I see this as limited problem solving because of this reason and also because it is only something I buy every two to three weeks. Prior to buying this, I recognised I had a problem. I recognised I was hungry and didn't want to cook, so I thought I would order a takeaway. Then I carried out an information search. I used my phone to go online to see which best fit my criteria, cheap, nice and quick delivery. I then evaluated my alternatives. I looked at Domino's, Pizza Hut and a few other takeaways. Eventually, after considering the menus, prices and my discount offers, I came to ultimately choose Domino's. After buying and eating the Domino's, I considered the outcome and whether it satisfied my wants. I concluded that it did and I was pretty happy with my purchase. There are many factors which influence my decision to get a Domino's, arguably the biggest being their marketing. I often see adverts for Domino's when watching football and sports. This makes me want to buy a Domino's to enjoy whilst I watch the game. Another big influence on this was the student discounts on offer. As a student, I have to try and manage my money pretty effectively. Having several different D Domino's discount codes makes it cheaper to order, and as a result, I began ordering from there more often. There's also a theory of cognitive dissonance, as established by Festinger. This theory suggests we, as consumers, are motivated to reevaluate our beliefs, attitudes, opinions, or values if we experience a negative change in those beliefs. For example, as a result of some event or circumstance. To forget this dissonance, we as consumers may, for example, selectively forget information or attempt to minimise the importance of an issue or decision. This theory of cognitive dissonance can be applied to someone in the rain. If a person was standing in the rain and yet could, know, could see no evidence that he was getting wet, these two cognitions will be in dissonance with one another because he knows from experience that getting wet follows from being out in the rain. The product I bought recently is a bottle of Coca-Cola. In contrast to the Domino's, this is an example of routine problem solving. It is low cost, low risk and for me a very habitual purchase. There are some influences on me buying Coca-Cola products that can only be attributed to Coca-Cola itself. A major influence on me buying from Coca-Cola is its link with Christmas. This can be explained using Pavlov's conditioning theory. By associating themselves with Christmas, which is a happy, fun-filled, festive period, Coca-Cola have established themselves as a happy, feel-good brand, resulting in me and other consumers feeling similar emotions towards Coca-Cola as Christmas. Not just at Christmas, but all year round. Another reason I think I feel this way towards Coca-Cola is the self-concept theory. This is a theory that consumers buy from brands they feel reflect them as a personality or individual. Coca-Cola are now in a three and a half year partnership with the Premier League, and which is Coca-Cola's biggest sports sponsorship in the UK. I myself watch a lot of Premier League matches being a football fan. Therefore, being sponsored by Coca-Cola, I feel in a way slightly reflects my interest in the league. In summary, my buying behaviour varies depending on the product and brand in question. Some products require a longer thought process and some, like the Coca-Cola, are more impulse and habitual. Regardless, factors such as my loyalty to the brand and other variable factors such as perhaps the people I'm with will all have an impact on my final decision.